The shoulder extension isometric and lifts can be done using either a stall bar, if you have one, or a barbell in the rack. To make sure that I keep my hands in the same position, I'm going to use a band. Uh, but if you don't have a band, you can also use a towel, a broomstick, or anything that you can actively squeeze to make sure that the hands don't go further apart during the exercise. We're going to first of all try and see how far we can lift into shoulder extension. There are a few common mistakes to be aware about doing this. So first of all, you don't want the shoulders to go up. We also don't want to take the neck forward and we want to try and avoid clearing the ribs out. So we want to be as close to our standing posture as possible. I'm just going to check more or less how far up I can go. And this is really my limit. So you can find something a little bit lower, something just below your end range to do the isometric contractions. And then when the moment comes to lift, take a step forward and try and lift as high as you possibly can. The band is going to give you feedback on whether you're trying to take the arms further apart. We're going to keep a pronated grip just outside the shoulder width. I'm going to use the lower side bars to push into. The intensity uh, depends on how comfortable you are doing the exercise. I would recommend starting at a lower intensity and then ramping up to your maximum safe step effort. So the contractions are going to be as prescribed on your program, but usually around 10 seconds will be a good time. I'm going to start with my feet or let's sit with the part. I'm going to make sure that I'm standing straight and then from this position I'm going to contract into the bar. Hold for the prescribed amount of time. And then to perform my lifts, I'm going to come slightly further away 